Have you ever pondered on the dichotomy of good girls versus bad bitches? This is a question that often sparks vibrant debates and even controversy in various social circles. It's a dichotomy that's deeply rooted in societal perceptions and stereotypes, with both sides of the coin often being misunderstood or misrepresented. When we talk about good girls, what exactly do we mean? Typically, the term is used to describe women who are perceived as virtuous, respectful, and adhering to societal norms and expectations. They're often seen as the epitome of grace and manners, the kind of girls who are marriage material, so to speak. On the flip side, bad bitches are often portrayed as fierce, independent, and unapologetically themselves. They're the ones who break norms, push boundaries, and defy expectations. They're seen as the women who refuse to conform to societal pressures, who live life on their own terms, and aren't afraid to show it. However, these stereotypes can be misleading and even damaging. They can box women into roles that they may not necessarily identify with, creating pressure to conform to a certain image. The good girl stereotype can be restrictive, stifling individuality and suppressing the expression of personal desires or ambitions. Conversely, the bad bitch label may imply a level of audacity or rebelliousness that isn't necessarily reflective of the individual's true personality or values. Moreover, these labels often fail to acknowledge the complexity and diversity of women's experiences and identities. They paint a one-dimensional picture, ignoring the fact that women can be both respectful and rebellious, both traditional and unconventional, both gracious and audacious. So why does society insist on pitting good girls against bad bitches? And why do we feel the need to categorize women in such limiting binary ways? Stereotypes often paint a one-dimensional image, but let's delve deeper into the qualities that make good girls stand out. As we navigate through this discussion, let's remember to challenge these stereotypes, to question the boxes we're often placed in, and to celebrate the multifaceted nature of women's identities. What comes to mind when you think of a good girl? The term good girl often brings up images of respectability, kindness, intelligence, and emotional maturity. These are not just surface-level attributes but qualities that define her character, her interactions, and how she leaves her mark on the world. Let's dive a bit deeper into these qualities. Respectability, for instance, is not about adhering to societal standards for the sake of conformity. It's about having a sense of personal integrity, about being true to oneself and treating others with dignity and respect. It's about being a person others can rely on, someone who commands respect through their actions and behavior. Now consider kindness. It's more than just being nice or polite. It's a deep-seated empathy and compassion for others, a willingness to go out of one's way to help, to uplift, to comfort. It's not about seeking recognition or praise, but about the genuine desire to make a difference in others' lives. Intelligence in the context of the good girl isn't just about academic prowess or being a whiz at trivia. It's about emotional intelligence, the ability to understand and manage one's own emotions as well as empathize with others. It's about critical thinking, problem solving, and having the courage to challenge norms and ask tough questions. Finally, emotional maturity. This is about being able to handle life's ups and downs with grace. It's about understanding that there will be challenges, heartbreaks, and failures, but these do not define one's worth. It's about resilience, about bouncing back and pushing forward, about learning and growing from every experience. To illustrate, let's consider a woman named Maya. Maya used her intelligence and kindness to start a community project that provided tutoring services to underprivileged children. Despite facing numerous challenges, Maya's respectability and emotional maturity shone through, inspiring others in her community to join her cause. This is just one example of how these good girl qualities can create ripples of positive change. These qualities, while not as flashy or provocative as the bad bitch persona, have a deeper and more lasting impact. Now let's flip the coin. What image does the term bad bitch conjure? The persona of a bad bitch often elicits strong reactions. It's a term that's been popularized in pop culture, frequently associated with women who are aggressive, assertive, and sexually confident. This archetype is a woman who's unafraid to take up space in a room, who speaks her mind without hesitation, and who never lets anyone trample over her boundaries. She's the one who refuses to be put in a box or adhere to societal norms of what a woman should be. She's bold, she's fierce, and she's unapologetically herself. Take for instance, the story of Sarah. Sarah was an ambitious woman who had always dreamt of becoming a CEO. She was assertive in her pursuit of this goal. She spoke her mind in meetings, stood up for her ideas, and was never afraid to challenge her superiors when she felt it was necessary. 
Her assertiveness was often labeled as aggression, but she didn't let this deter her. Instead, she used it as fuel to climb the corporate ladder, eventually becoming the CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Then there's Jade, a woman who was unapologetically confident in her sexuality. She owned her sexual prowess and wasn't shy about expressing it. She didn't let societal norms define her or dictate how she should behave. Instead, she embraced her sexuality and used it as a form of self-empowerment. These are qualities that can indeed be empowering. They allow women to take control of their lives, to stand up for themselves, and to break free from societal constraints. However, it's important to remember that these qualities can also be limiting and one-dimensional. When we limit the identity of a woman to just being a bad bitch, we're essentially reducing her to these qualities alone. We're ignoring the depth and complexity of her character. We're forgetting that she's more than just her aggression, more than just her assertiveness, more than just her sexual prowess. These qualities can indeed be empowering but they can also be limiting and one-dimensional. So, how do good girls positively impact society? Let's dive into it. Good girls, the ones who opt for kindness over drama, diligence over shortcuts, and empathy over indifference, contribute to society in a multitude of meaningful ways. They're the ones who are often overlooked, yet they're the ones who steadfastly work towards making the world a better place. Take for instance, the story of a young woman named Lucy. Lucy was always considered a good girl. She was kind, diligent, and always ready to lend a helping hand. Instead of indulging in trivial pursuits, Lucy focused her energy on issues that mattered. During her college years she realized that her community was grappling with a severe lack of educational resources for underprivileged children. Rather than ignoring the problem Lucy decided to take action. She started a nonprofit organization, pouring all her time and resources into it. It was a challenging journey but, Lucy was determined and her efforts began to bear fruit. She rallied her community inspiring others with her passion and commitment. Today her organization has changed the lives of hundreds of children, providing them with the educational resources they so desperately needed. Lucy's story is just one example of how good girls can create a ripple effect of positive change in society. On the other hand, good girls also foster a culture of respect and emotional intelligence. They are the ones who teach us to be patient, to listen, to empathize. They show us the power of quiet strength, of resilience, of kindness. They remind us that one can be strong without being aggressive, can be successful without stepping on others, and can be confident without being arrogant. So, good girls, the Lucys of the world, are not just passive bystanders. They are active contributors, shaping society with their values, their actions, and their hearts. They are the ones who prove that making a difference doesn't always require a loud voice or a harsh stance. Sometimes all it takes is a single act of kindness, a moment of understanding, or a heart full of compassion. Good girls often make waves not with aggression but with kindness, intelligence, and emotional maturity. So, why are good girls better than bad bitches? Let's take a moment to revisit the highlights from our discussion. We've explored the depth and impact of the good girl persona, the limitations of the bad bitch persona, and the positive societal influence exerted by good girls. First, we delved into the persona of the good girls. We discovered that they are often misunderstood, misrepresented, and undervalued. Yet, they are the ones who bring a sense of balance, understanding, and empathy to their relationships and environments. They are the ones who strive for growth, personal development, and have a deep-rooted sense of self-worth that is not dependent on external validation. Then we examine the bad bitch persona. While it can initially seem attractive, we found that it can be a limiting and one-dimensional representation of women. It often promotes a fierce, independent, and assertive image, but it can also lead to negative stereotypes and unrealistic expectations. It can sometimes glorify unhealthy behaviors and attitudes, thus creating a distorted view of what it means to be a strong, confident woman. Next, we looked at the societal impact of good girls. They are the ones who often work behind the scenes, making meaningful contributions to their communities and societies. They are the ones who foster a sense of unity, cooperation, and mutual respect. They are the ones who believe in the power of kindness, compassion, and understanding, and they often serve as role models for younger generations. In the grand scheme of things, it's the good girls who truly make a significant and lasting impact. They are the ones who push for positive change, who stand up for what they believe in, and who constantly strive to make the world a better place. 
They are the ones who understand the importance of personal growth, emotional intelligence, and genuine connections. In conclusion, while the bad bitch persona may seem enticing, it's the good girls who truly make a significant and lasting impact on society. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.